Hello, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to share with you my March favorite. So the art supplies that I used a lot this month. It helps if you'd like to like this video, subscribe and leave a comment. And that helps me to share this content. It's going to be watercolors, books, sketchbooks, all sorts of stuff. And I'll talk about why I enjoyed using it this month. So let's jump right in. First thing I want to talk about is watercolors. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I love watercolors. Um, I like beautiful uh, pre-mixed like convenient colors um, and I like to collect colors. Uh, recently I bought the uh, Shire uh, Super Granulating Watercolors by Schwinke and also the Deep Sea one. You can see that in my latest um, art haul. And I needed a place to store them, so I decided to put them in this palette. And this little palette is the Art Philosophy palette. I had the pastel sets, but I now store different watercolors in here. And it's a beautiful, small, small little palette. <laughs> and the reason why it's my favorite, because I just got so inspired by the new these new colors that i got that you can see in my latest art haul that i wanted to sort of make a little palette out of them and here is what i did and here you can see all of these beautiful colors so in here i have the uh, deep sea super granulating colors the shire super granulating colors both by schminke I have some Daniel Smith colors and also some Roman Schmal, like the full pens are Roman Schmal colors and then one Van Gogh color. I just like to grab this little palette um, out uh, when I'm sitting on the couch or when, <laughs> even when I'm laying in bed. I just grab this one. I'm using my um, watercolor brush by Kahandai. Take this with me, take the little palette with me and use it in my sketchbook. Just did some quick sketching like these birds, an elephant and a piece of cake, a little fox. And because there are so interesting um, colors in here, it's easy to get an interesting effect in your sketchbook. And one of the colors, it's the Serpentine by Daniel Smith. It's like the perfect, perfect pure color. Um, you instantly get that pure texture. More, also using some pencils with it. And I really, really enjoyed using um, them in my sketchbook to create interesting textures. And it's my color palette, so all of those colors really inspire me and get me going. Um, and if you're wondering, this is a art art creation sketchbook. Now that we are on the topic of sketchbook, I wanted to share with you this little sketchbook. And this book is a uh, quite a small sketchbook by Kenson. And I just painted the top with some flesh paint. Um, and in here we have some watercolor paper. And I was looking for a really inexpensive sketchbook with watercolor paper that I could just use to experiment with, but would also be easy to um, get uh, pieces out of here. So here you can um, get the paper out of the little book. But this only cost me like, 350 so it's very inexpensive and that is why i like it moving on to some brushes that i highly recommend and these are brushes not by an art brand but by a sort of concept store or lifestyle store and it's the sustaining grain store i 
um, think or I know it's a Scandinavian store and we have it here in the Netherlands and I know it's in more cities across Europe. I'm not sure if they also sell their stuff in um, other parts of the world. Um, but <laughs> if you have a chance to get these, oh, please focus. I would highly suggest you get them because they are like 150 euros each. So they're super inexpensive and they are great because they have a really nice fine tip. They come in two sizes. Well, they come in two sizes, a size six and a size eight. And they have this grippy thing for your thumb, for your fingers, which is great. But you can also, of course, hold them like that. And I love them. I have eight of them now because I like them so much and they're so inexpensive. I also got this in my latest art haul and it is a soft pastel by Jexel. Jexel. I like this one a lot because it's a neon pink and it's great for layering. Here you can see the carpet. It's done uh, first with watercolor and then using the neon pink to color over it. So here you can see I did a little dog with some cute um, pink cheeks and I used that pastel for it. Now let me show you the pencils that I sort of re, uh, rediscovered and I'm talking about the Derwent Color Softs. I've been doing art for I think two years now. Uh, roughly two yeah I think I've been really into making art for two years now uh, at first I just used what I had laying around of course but then I decided I wanted to use artist grade um, art supplies and I only had um, like my old from childhood pencils and those are good but not great <laughs> So I thought it was a good idea to give myself a Christmas present and I gave myself the big set of the Derwent Color Soft pencils and I um, got the big and I got the big box and um, then I discovered buying pencils open stock and I sort of didn't use my Derwent Color Soft pencils too much them in like the beautiful wooden box somewhere in my drawer and I decided to get them out so I put them in a flower pot um, and since I've done that I've used them way and way more so that is why I um, wanted to share with you how much I really enjoyed these pencils uh, be aware not all of them are like fast so they're not like um as high of quality as uh, they're not as high of a quality as um luminance or the light fast or wind pencils but they are great for your sketchbook they're really soft and they have beautiful colors and some of the colors that i wanted to light out is gray green baby blue and phil lavender It keeps on focusing on my face. If you want me to do a video um, talking about my favorite Derwent color stuff pencils, I could do that because I have all the colors because I bought the big set. Um, and some colors I like and some colors I don't like. So if you want me to make a video about the Derwent color stuff pencils, um, if you like the same sort of color palette that I enjoy, please leave a comment down below and I will do that. Okay. Now, I also uh, bought two uh, Durwind Ink Tense pencils and I bought the Iron Grey and the Paints Grey um, and I'm really enjoying them because they're also really nice to sketch with. They're quite waxy and you can activate them with water, but they're not like a watercolor pencil because once they dry, they are um, you cannot reactivate them. And I decided to pick up these two colors.
already shown it, but this is the um, Payne's Gray pencil, and it is great. So last but not least is this book. One day I want to make a children's book. My mother is a collector of children's books. She's a teacher, so she used them, uses them a lot. Um, but <laughs> I saw, I went to Den Haag with a friend of mine and we went to an English bookstore and then I saw this book and it says making pictures, making picture books. Picture bookmakers, wow. It says picture bookmakers. And in here, they featured 12 picture bookmakers. And then the book tells you um, about their process. And it also shows like in between sketches, which are always very interesting to see as someone who, who likes to draw, but it also shares uh, finished artworks. This one. And all of the artists in here have a very unique style, so you can get in, you can get inspired um, by all of those and sort of um, find your own style in, in all of the things that they do. Like, what do I like about it? Do I like the color palette? Do I like the way they use texture? Do I like the subjects that they paint? So it's really interesting to see all of these processes and also to be uh, the one thing that I took from it so far, I haven't finished reading it yet, but the one thing I took from it so far is that making a book takes a lot of time. <laughs> so um, yeah, you just need to, to work hard to make a picture book, but one day, I said it here, so now it's on the internet. One day I want to make my own picture book and give it, give it to my mother, but also um, use it for myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is everything I wanted to share with you this month. If you want to know about anything that I shared in detail, uh, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.